Hey YT family, I'm about to get all up in these brows, trying to get this particular shape. Of course, you can't twin it. I'm not in it to win it, but I'm trying to win it. But um, it's all about the brows right now. And I'm trying to my best to shape them the way that I want. So I basically like to start a, a outline using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in HD. In the color, what color is it? Let's see. Beautiful bronze. The, the letters on the back of it is way too small for you to be able to see it. But um, this is the color that I'm using. It's more closest to my complexion. So I'm just trying to, you know, I just filled them in with my duo. Where's my duo? Oh, I'm holding it. <laughs> Hilarious. I'm using my duo. This is what I use to, and I use the darkest color. It don't look like it, but this is the darkest color. And that's the color that I used. And I used a regular little brush like this. It's not really angled or anything. And this is what I used to fill them in. On both sides. And I'm sitting here now and trying to get this outline perfect. I'm gonna look in this little mirror so I can really see what I'm doing. And go very slowly. This one up here looks a little bit more thicker and I wanna make it a little bit more thinner. As far as width, it's a little bit more thicker than that one was. And um, on this end, I made this part a little bit more thicker than this side. So I think I'm getting there basically right kind of where I want it to be. I mean, they're not going to be identical, but, you know, you can only try to do as much as you can. I'm trying to get this tip a little bit skinnier on this part over here at the tail end. Trying to get it as close as possible to the other one. It's close. It's getting close. I try not to spend too much time on my eyebrows. I mean, I want them to look nice and neat. But I don't want to, like, overdo it. And I can't find my spoolie. So, if you lose your spoolie, the best thing that you can do is... I had some clear liquid... Um, eyebrow stuff and I ran out so I had took the top off and I rinsed it let it soak in hot water and now I can use it as a spoolie to blend it out I like to leave the concealer there because it helps a little bit with lightening the front of it when you're blending it out and don't worry about it drying the concealer drying because at the end of the day it mixes very well. I also like to brush like forward in and then bring it back up. That helps me a little bit better with it. And I just take my finger and blend out the rest of the concealer. That's the thing that I like about the fact of using concealer that's close to my skin tone because it makes it a lot more easier to blend it out. LA Girls Pro Concealer um, is like one of the best to me out there as far as when you're looking at, you know, makeup for dark skin. They have so much stuff in our color tone as far as concealers is concerned. You know, I, I choose to use more colors that's close to my makeup um, complexion color. I don't really necessarily like losing stuff that's like super lighted in me. 
because of course it can give off that halo effect that you really don't want I mean some people like the halo effect on their brows or whatever I guess it makes some of their um, it makes some of their um, eyebrows pop a little more to them but I like more or less colors that's in the color of my skin tone that's the thing to say so yeah so that's good for me as far as my eyebrows is concerned or whatever I'm gonna look in this bigger mirror so I can make sure that I blend it out really good or whatever looks good to me don't really have that deep type of halo effect or anything it's basically right where I want it as far as and you can just take a brush like this a flat brush like this because it's a little easy to like go right above that to blend it out a little bit more but I think that that's good you know, so I'm gonna stand up so I can be in the light a little bit more then that way you can see the brows more better you see that I'm not really a person that has a lot of brows. My, I'm having really no brows, but I try to blend them out, you know, really good and really like try to get them as close as to natural as possible. Excuse the concealer that I have on my hand. Obviously, I had took out a little more than I needed or whatever. Yeah, so I'm happy with that. I'm going to pause for a second okay i'm back so i'm gonna put on a different foundation normally i use this liquid foundation by bh cosmetics and it's in the, co uh, the color deep espresso that's the one i normally use but i used to use this black opal makeup stick or whatever as if you find it there we go Okay, why is it not coming out? Maybe my hands are shaky. I have shaky hands. But this is in the color Black Walnut. I'm going to try again. Okay, it's not focusing. So, I know a lot of girls normally use this lighter skin, like lighter complexion skin. Girls normally use this as a, um, when they're contouring. So I'm, I put a little bit of my LA Girl Pro Concealer. I'm going to rub a little bit on my face. I don't really put a lot of um, foundation on because I don't really have a lot of skin issues or whatever. So I'm not really going to like put on the average amount that you normally see girls put on or whatever. I'm going to pause for another second and I'm going to blend it a little bit because I don't want this video to be too long or whatever. So give me a minute and I'll be right back. So just so you know, I use this e.l.f. stipple brush. I use this to blend out my makeup. Sorry that it's not picking up. I don't want to spend too much time trying to wait for it to focus. But even though um, it's cream foundation and it's not a liquid, I still, for some reason, I just like the way that this helps me blend out my makeup even though it's more better to use this with a liquid foundation if you're really good at blending and the thing about this also is it's very soft because at first I just do this until I get it mixed up all on my face when I add if I add two different makeups together I normally don't add two makeups together but in this case, because I wanted to use a different foundation, a more darker, a little bit darker, I should say, darker one from the espresso one that I use with BH, and this black opal one is black walnut or whatever, I mixed that, like I said, with my concealer to lighten it a little bit because my the rest of my body is so much lighter. And sometimes, you know, us dark-skinned women, I'm going to bend this because this is normally how I go around the eyebrow area so I don't mess it up when I'm blending around the forehead. 
if you leave it open then it'll mess up your brows and I don't want to have to get back into my brows I haven't been getting much rest so I've developed these little bags right here but I'm gonna take care of that with some concealer so this is just how I blend it out with the stipple brush I do this all over stop it cashew and then I just use the sides to smooth it out in the areas here because I have like a scar here that I've had since I was a little kid and in order for me to conceal that I need to make sure that my foundation is blend out awesomely or whatever I'm a very light coat makeup person I'm gonna pause for a second and then I'm gonna come back okay so I'm used I use like two different colors for my highlight I'm really truly hoping that it's gonna pick up possibly but let me see I use this color here and also this color up top it has a little bit of a shimmer to it as you can see probably the dent in it that's why I use that one and then I use I use this one here brown and then this lighter one up top um because it picks up a little bit better on my dark skin and I don't really use no particular brush I just use this little teeny ass brush right here and then I just put the lighter color first and then I put the brown on top of it and then I just blend it out right under my eyebrow bone and I just that's all I do pretty much okay so now that my you know foundation is done and everything or whatever I do take my LA Girl Pro concealer highlighter well it's not highlighter concealer or whatever and then I proceed to put on my under my eye kind of like in a triangle it really doesn't matter to me if I do a triangle or not all really matters to me is that I blend it out great that's about all I care about right there basically to the bridge of my nose I make sure I get enough of it I'm just doing just a uh, highlight and foundation application and I chose not to, you know, do such a a long video as far as I'm trying to keep it not too long, I should say. And some on the forehead. Because like I said, I really like the minimal amount of makeup. Being that I have those bags under my eyes, I'm just making sure that I put enough and I like to bring it out to the corners. This is the brush that I like to use to blend it out. And I'm not really pressing hard. It might look like I am, but I'm not. I don't want to rush as well. I want, you know, my videos to be detailed. That's the main reason why I don't fast forward do um, my first makeup video thank you for you guys that are watching that one and that might have shared it or whatever I think I had a few shares I don't spend a lot of time also blending out the concealer I just um, try to get to it before it starts to really dry up I mean you can give it a little little time to do that as well because it does blend some concealers do blend well when you let it dry a little bit just because it dries up don't mean it's not gonna still blend great so I'm gonna pause again so I can finish blending it out and then I'll come back okay so I don't blend that out I had a little issue where I decided to mess with my brows and almost jacked them up which is not cool for me so being that I'm gonna do that I'm really focusing on a neutral look for you guys and 
with that being said I'm not gonna go like hard body with um eyeshadow or anything I'm just gonna use my press powder which I like to use for various things and I'm just gonna put that all over the lid just barely putting anything but I'm just gonna blend that out just deposit that there and blend it out so I want this to be like a neutral natural look no extras no dramatic color on the eyes or anything I did put a little bit of concealer when I was applying my so basically that's that with that I'm gonna put all my powder on top of it to bake just a little bit and I'll be back so I put on my lashes which is one of the things that I'm not good at and one of my eyes is irritated which is my left eye that's the eye that I normally have the most problems with or whatever that side is just super sensitive so I'm just gonna blend out my pressed powder which is what I put on top of my concealer that's what I like to use as my highlight I did go off camera for about 30 minutes sometimes I like to let my baking process proceed a little longer because to me it really helps with keeping that creasing down in that area so that's what I'm doing right now just doing some blending I took my highlight a little bit further down in this area I see that it's coming out pretty light for some reason I'm having a good cam like lighting for a second but it's a little lighter looking right now for some reason in here it's all um, the same color that I normally use which is the, the kiss loose powder that's the powder that I use throw on my highlight or whatever so I'm gonna apply my pressed powder which is the black radiance I'm quite sure you can see right here on the screen that it's telling you exactly what color it is I like to dab my powder on first in the areas that I want it and then I blend out even over the highlight like to blend out over everything I don't care about the colors mixing or anything as far as my highlight and my pressed powder is concerned because that just gives me more of a closer tone to the rest of my skin it looks a lot darker in the face I'm quite sure because for some reason the Sun is glaring right here about the Sun the light is glowing right here as you can see if I pull it down you see like it don't really look like it's matching but once I finish this blending and everything it's gonna all mesh together so the simple basic four products really was just the LA girl pro concealer which I used um, to mix with the black opal which is a darker color when I mixed it with this black walnut black opal with the LA girl pro concealer was to kind of lighten it a little bit because my normal foundation is a little bit lighter than this this one is a little bit darker should be using it as a contour but I choose not to um, this is the end of the blending for me um, 
um, besides adding my fusion, my color fusion thing, which is something I told you guys that I like to add above here. It does lighten my contour just a little bit, but the colors are definitely in a dark skin, skin, skin tone. As far as colors is concerned, I like to add that there. It kind of bumps up my highlight just a little bit. What's left on the brush, I'm just brushing down the nose just to further add a little bit. Stay very close to that. It's coming together, it's coming together. Okay, so I took the liberty of getting my hair together in advance. I just twisted a little, twisted it all the way down and just swirled it around in a little knot. Trying to give you like a look that you can wear on a job interview or to a sporting event since I got this Reggie Bush jersey on or whatever. And um, something that you can just, like I said, wear out. I'm not going to add a little bit of blush because... I want this look to stay neutral, natural, neutral looking, you know, and stuff or whatever. Like I said, basically three to four products, you know, and stuff. Everything as far as my face powder I use for my eyes, my eyelids, or whatever. I took a little time really getting the eyebrows to look really nice or whatever. I think I'm just going to say my video, makeup videos is going to be long plain and simple because for you to get all the detail or whatever you need to be able to see everything that's being done not sped up you know and stuff or whatever so yes this is that ebay wig little nice top knot and i guess i'll try out one of these prestige lipsticks that i have over here um i got this in a gift bag at my boyfriend guitar pimp shout out to my baby got me these when he did a show that i didn't go to and they gave out lipsticks and stuff or whatever which i plan on doing a swatch video they also gave me some glosses and i think i might just use one of these because um being that this is a natural neutral look you know sorry it's coming out looking super duper 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 light on um here I'm going to put a little bit of my eyeliner, my Sephora eyeliner pencil, because being that this is like really, really brown and sparkly, uh, I kind of want to be a little bit darker on the outer areas. So that's going to add this black on the outer area. Okay, and then let's go for it. Ooh, and these smell like so freaking good. Oh my goodness. They're called um, Prestige Vinyl Wear High Shine Lip Gloss. And it says, uh, I don't have my glasses on, which is sad that I don't have my glasses on. But the color is VW36. It's called Pure Gold. And this is the way it looks. Hopefully you can see that. I'm trying to block out my light. I don't know why I'm getting such good lighting right now, but I'll put it on this screen somewhere in the annotations. Let me um, mix that up. You might not want to wear this kind of lippy, of course, on an interview, but like I said, if you're going out to a sporting event or as such or whatever, I did, this is the lightest I've ever done my blush. But like I said, you can easily just change the color real quick on your lips if you're going to like a job interview or something like that or whatever. So I'm going to stand up in the light so you can get a good look at this. I'm 
I had a little issue on this side of my eye because my eye kept running. I'm sorry about that, but yeah, so get the look. It's neutral, natural looking look makeup look or whatever you know i don't know why my light is like so super bright on me right now but um uh, maybe me staying down here is better and like for some reason my light is like super duper bright right now but yeah that's the look so not too much not too bold not you know you can go out to the game and you know look cute pick up your kids go out to lunch you want to be not too loud or whatever so you know thank you guys sorry the video so long but i hope that you learned something let's get them brows again because those brows get so good